Okay. Maria back with another video. And I want to jump on here and make this video before I jump in in the shower because I really want to wind down. And I'm going to try to cut down on the rambling, which I'm so known for doing. I only have 14 minutes on this video, so I need to make it quick. But, <laughs> you know, I was thinking, you know, um, I really kind of like started off today on a lot of my videos, but I had to. I just felt so overwhelmed with all the things that have been going on. And, um, you know, it, I, I can honestly say that, you know, since I've been going to work, since I started working when I was like 17 years old, and I started working at a pizza place. I mean, I babysat before then, but, you know, um, I kind of considered that a job. I mean, it was. I mean, because you're, 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 it's a little responsibility, but still, my actual place as employee, I started working when I was 17 years old, and I noticed a pattern, like, you know, um, I would start the job, and then everything's okay, and then all of a sudden, after a while, um, pe the behavior of people were, would change, you know, and the manager would be almost like um, hovering over me, much like how my sister would hover over me, or my mother would hover over me, and, and it, it's been like this bullshit has been going on for years, and like I said, I just started realizing what this is, what it is, you know, after hearing other people's stories, reading about it, and, um, you know, and then I told you that I remember people telling me, you know, that I acted like I was abused, or, you know, stuff like this, and, and the guy who made the comment at the place that I was working at, because he, he must have noticed something that was wrong with me, you know, in the my family dynamic or whatever. And like I said, you know, you don't realize these things until you get older. You just don't. But, you know, one of the things I've noticed about how people manage other people is um, their, this need, like it's an ego trip. And I understand ego is huge. I mean, we all have egos. We all do. But the thing is, is that, you know, when you're managing people, you have to be aware of your ego, and you have to sometimes set it aside. I think maybe the reason why I've, I've been so interested in management is because <laughs> I've had such shitty ones all my life. <laughs> all my life. And, um, and I can see where certain um, social sciences kind of like tie into the things that they're they should be doing, and their awareness of other people and how they should communicate and so on and so forth. So what what I'm noticing here is when it comes to um, and um, people who run companies and just working for employers in general is that um, and other people are, are noticing it too. I mean, I, I of course and I'm sure they some of these people are lifelong. Um, uh, victims of, of domestic abuse, domestic stalking, such as myself, and some people um, just kind of experienced here and there. But one thing is for sure, and just by looking at the situation, you know, with the gang stalking, people thinking that, um, you know, checking out people's Facebook pages, how they're going to behave in their professional life, or they get the your home life and your work life mixed up, and, and they don't they don't know how to focus, you know, they lack focus, and, um, uh, people have noticed that this, this kind of hostile behavior, this, you know, it's, the workplace is more hostile than it's ever been at this point, you know, and yet, you know, I don't want to throw in the education thing, but, you know, I want to talk about a little bit on that one, okay, like I said, you know, most people have, adequate training through the course of course of study. Um, and then all these other additional courses are supposed to enhance your learning. You're supposed to incorporate it. Like, you know, um, it's supposed to become a part of your life. That's a truly educated person. Okay, once you learn the knowledge that you receive, it's supposed to be applied into your life. Incorporated immediately into your life, you know, or somehow, maybe you may not incorporate all of it, but it's supposed to be implemented in some way. That's what makes you an educated person, that's what makes you whole. That's, that's the point, that's the purpose.
to be, you know, as, as cultivated as you can. And, okay, so, but my point, but my, what I'm trying to make, the point I'm trying to make is, is that to under, to, to receive knowledge and not apply it is downright foolish, okay? And this is what the problem is, is that there's too much of, pe too many people, um, uh, being in these situations and everything that they've had opportunity to learn is just going out the window. Like, people don't have an appreciation for it. So you can go to college, you could take your courses, you could, you know, pass your exams, and you can get your um, four-year degree, you know, or whatever. And then you can act as if it never happened. <laughs> you know, because that's what I see, and that's how, that's how people are. You know what I mean? I look at the way people write letters, and I'm like, okay, like, you don't, a cultivated man, a man who, who went to this particular college that you're, you're bragging about on your bumper sticker, why do you write shitty emails? Why do you not present what you're so supposed to be so proud of, you know? Aside from that, okay, it's the, the, the bullying, it's the bullying and the, um, ganging up on people and the, 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 the foolish solutions that they, they come up with to, um, there, there is no learning in the workplace. There is no real training in the workplace that I've experienced, okay? It, it's, it's this bully do or do it or, you know, whatever, or in my case, with, over there at the farmer's place, I felt like just about most of my interactions with this farmer were forms of inter interrogation. What kind of person, you know, you you get accused of the workers' comp, you get treated shitty because of the workers' comp edit that occurred back in 2008 and you got there in 2009, okay? So you ask this person a, a question and you know what their response is? You tell me. You're the accounting manager. What kind of bullshit is that? Why would somebody do something like that to somebody? And here's the point. Here's what my point is, is that why do you have to be interrogated? Why does it always have to be a negative, something negative, just to get the job done? That wasn't even necessary, okay? So what did, you, what did I do? The very next year, I made sure, I mean, when I took over the workers' comp responsibility for that year, I made sure that that wasn't going to happen. That I, everything was going to be in order, and they were they were in immaculate order, and they made sense. Okay. Not one bit of congratulations did I get from that man. Not one bit of acknowledgement. Nothing. Okay. I did everything I possibly could to make his company as tight fit, you know, as, as tight as I possibly could, like, you know, and no, no appreciation, nothing, you know, no reassurance that I was going to keep my job, every single thing was, I came out of this vicious man's mouth was bullshit to try to intimidate me on every chance he could, by 2010, I wish that man was dead, and that's the goddamn truth, okay, I had, I kept a sunny disposition, the entire time, as much as I possibly could, until I couldn't take it anymore. So as much, as much as this bullshit was going on, people taking credit for my work, and they're getting full acknowledgement at the meetings, and I'm sitting here like, what the fuck is going on? You know? And these people do it, like, you know, they, they don't care. You know, and then that's why I resent the whole religious element to it, because it's like, bullshit. What you guys want is control. You want control. And you want to make sure that everybody is adequately brainwashed. Everybody has a proper share amount of guilt and shame because it, nobody wants to be looked upon as somebody who doesn't believe in God. So they, you, you make it about religion so everybody will be a part of the group. That's what you do. Okay? But luckily, I, I understand these things, okay? And I can see what it is. It's bullshit. It's bullshit. You know, there's too much of that, you know, and so my vision is to change that, you know what I mean? It doesn't have to be that way. Why can't people put conscious thought into what they say before they say it? That's how you manage people, 
That's how you communicate effectively. You don't use subordinates to critique somebody who's supposed to be in a, in a position that is above that other person. That's not about arrogance. It's about a form of hierarchy so that it's well established so people don't have chaos in the fucking goddamn office. Okay? And don't act like this shit's new to hear because you should have known better. That's what I'm trying to say. It's bullshit. There is no order. There's no structure. It's just... You know what? It's like the playground. But this time, you know what? If you don't play right the way they want you to, they'll cut off your life source. And they're more than happy to do it. They don't care if you have a kid at home. They don't care if you fucking, you know, drove, got up at 4 or something in the morning, you're driving, you're doing everything you can, pretty much having a heart attack on the fucking freeway, just so you can pay your fucking bills. You know, because they enjoy the game so goddamn much. Okay? We have a very big problem when it comes to people and then the whole workplace thing and the attitude and thinking that they're above the law. That's just the problem, you know? It's, it's a huge problem. So I don't mean to spout out all the time. I don't mean to sit here and, like, go on and on and on. I don't mean to wake up in the middle of the night with anxiety attacks and fearful that some weird freak is going to sit there and, like, do something to me that I don't, that goes against my will, like, hurt me or something, and they'll do it in the name of the religion, and you know what, a bunch of people are going to sit here and comply with it, because, you know what, they're all a part of this weird, weird network that, to me, is just bloodthirsty and sick, okay? I would never stoop so low to be a part of something like that. Okay? I won't. I will not be a part of something like that. I won't. There's nothing in me that ever wants to emulate any kind of thing, any behavior like that, ever. Okay? Because I can see what it is, and it's wrong. Okay? It is, it's wrong. I can't tell you how much is wrong. On so many levels. And I, it's, it's my hope that that will change one day. You know? I'm hoping that will change one day. You know, I, I'm deserving of what I'm supposed to have in life. And I'm tired of people hindering my path. You know? I know what I'm here for. I know what I like to do. You know, people either appreciate it or they don't. But I think it's for sure, you know, if, if, if we're in some sort of war where, um, you know, it's supposed to be good versus evil or, or this is a power play, I'm going to tell you right now, if these people win, then this world is truly wicked. It is wicked. It's, it's evil to the goddamn core. Wrapping up this video, have a wonderful night.